How's it going? Jeff here from Deep Cycle Battery San Diego. I'm board a 48 volt electric Duffy boat. Today this training video is going to talk to you about replacing the batteries. Um, we have eight six volt batteries all wired together in series. I'm about to put the cables back on. So uh, what we have done is we've uh, ex pulled out the old batteries and we've cleaned out the compartment. If you find that you have electrolyte or sulfuric acid, battery acid, in the bottom of it, you can neutralize it with baking soda. We've, we have all the original cables off the batteries. We're inspecting them to make sure that the, the cables can be reused. We took a uh, cordless drill with a wire brush and dressed them up. And now we're just gonna start putting the stuff back together. You can see I have it, my last negative right here and my first positive will start at the pack. So I have the negative and positive disconnected. So it's a real simple case. This is a very easy Duffy boat. It only has the eight batteries. So we're just gonna lay the positive to the negative here and start putting these together in series. You can see here that we have a shunt. They have a battery amp meter or capacity meter here. That's what this, this round guy is. And uh, so we're gonna wire again positive to negative. Just put these together all in series. Cables are trained to go a certain direction. And I'm probably gonna speed this up so I don't waste your time. The takeaway here is you want to connect the batteries all together and you want to then plug in the charger and you want to hear the charger engage. This customer had left the batteries idle for a long period of time and we found that the batteries would not take a charge. In fact, the onboard charger was giving an error message. The customer was using a watering system that you can see we have here and the watering system was incorrectly installed. I believe it's four batteries for every hose bib. Um, the hose bib looks like something like this. It's a receptacle that you engage a, a hand pump to. So technically it should be four batteries for every bib spout that comes into here. And this customer is trying to do eight of them. And I'm not sure why, but the electrolyte was, was coming out of the uh, watering system. People ask me all the time how I feel about watering systems. And uh, I'm, I'm on the fence. I've seen them work great and I've seen them fail. So it's just hard for me to say I'm an advocate of them. I understand they're convenient. So these are just 5 16 stainless steel nuts. You're gonna see me put these back on. And then when I get done putting them on and tighten them down, I'm gonna use some antioxidant corrosive called Noox. And the Noox is gonna keep the uh, terminals protected. So just keep going here. Cannot stress the importance of you are dealing with battery sulfuric acid, wear eye protection, gloves. We all know this, but what you also need to know is if you get any acid on the seats, it's gonna discolor your seats. Sulfuric acid is a bummer. So I had my positives all, I have my positives care being together so I didn't lose them. Take these off, stack these on. Have our last negative. Sometimes when you put the negative on, you're gonna see a bite. It's nice when there's not a bite. I'm off shore power. Oh yeah, make sure you're off shore power before you do a battery switch out. But I don't like to see a bite because it's telling me if there is a bite when I put this back on, I'm getting a, there's a load on the batteries. So I do a safety tap and there's your bite. So we have a load on. Something's on the boat and it's always drawing. So the customer has to be told because if they ever go off shore power again, the batteries are gonna discharge like crazy. So let's put this back on. I'll investigate later, find out what the bite is. I can hear something clicking on. Oh, it's a bilge pump. Okay, well, what are you gonna do about that, you know? Check all my cables. You don't want anything loose. Loose is bad. We all uh, we get someone drag people drag us batteries in that have melted terminals, and they want to know why the terminals are melted. It's because the things were loose. Anyway, last we'll do is grab some of this Noox. It's a nice dielectric grease. Keeps everything happy. Keeps everything from corroding. This stuff is great. Um, and then what I will do is I'll plug in the boat, check the charging system, and turn the key. Hey, that's my tip. I hope this helps you, and uh, have a good day. Take care.